Good morning and welcome to today's Rockler demo. I'm Rob Johnstone. Let me show you what we have on tap for you today. Cutting a perfect oval and then drilling a gazillion holes, that's right up a CNC router's alley. And this SD-110 from Next Wave is ready for the job. Today I'm going to be making a peg jumping game board. It's a fun game and it makes a great gift. As I always do when I'm using a CNC router, I like to test the programming on some scrap lumber to get, make sure there's no problems. Speaking of programming, if you look in the details below, you can find your .tap and .crv files for free. Free is always good. To get started, I chuck a quarter inch single flute straight bit into the router. With the amount of material being removed, the single flute is the way to go. Then I position the board in place and clamp it securely. The blank should be three quarters of an inch thick by eight and a half inches wide and 13 inches long. The program is registered to the center of the piece, so I set the XY coordinates and then zero out the Z coordinate. Now we're almost ready to fire up the router. Before I actually start up the router and start cutting, I like to go through a little checklist of all the things I've done in my setup, make sure Nothing's out of place. And I like to grab some dust collection. Then I load the .tap file. The peg holes are just a bit larger than one quarter inch in diameter, so the cutter can spiral down as it cuts. Now it's time to sit back and let the magic happen. So that is about that. You might have noticed my last cut didn't go all the way through, but fortunately I'm a woodworker, I know how to fix those things. Then all I need to do is sand it up a little bit, apply a finish, and it's done. It's kind of a dumb game though without pegs, isn't it? Let me show you how we fix that. This game board is designed to utilize these pegs from Rockler. I just dropped them in some dye. Getting some good color there. Now, if only I had a rack to, to dry these things on. Ta-da! That's just a ticket. After the dye dries, I spray a quick coat of shellac on the pegs. I needed a minimum of 10 per color, but I made some extra in case the dog decided to eat one or two. And now we're done. A fun game that makes a great gift. And of course, because I have the CNC programming, I can make many of these in short order. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and maybe even learned a thing or two. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworker's Journal. Keep on making sawdust.